Hi guys. My baby's asleep right now, so I thought I'd just film a little video. I've been thinking about this topic since I gave birth, and that is letting you know how my childbirth recovery was different than the vestibulectomy, which I know a lot of women are freaked out from all of like the trauma that they've had, you know, with the pain and stuff, and they're like, I don't think I can ever have a kid vaginally and that's totally understandable but I want to let you know my experience so maybe it will help ease your mind. I personally was all for the epidural, love modern medicine and I'm really glad that I had that in my head because childbirth is no joke. But obviously after you give birth you cannot take any strong medications which after the surgery, they gave me my vestibulectomy. They gave me really pretty strong drugs. And it just didn't cross my mind that I wouldn't be able to take something like that after childbirth because it like gets into your breast milk and whatnot. Um, you just take ibuprofen, which is just like crazy to me. But so I just wanted to explain the difference between the pain with the vestibulectomy. If you don't know what that is, um, it is pretty much getting surgery on your vagina. They cut the exterior tissue out from around the outside and then stitch it back up. And the recovery is, I think they might say like, I don't know if they say 12 weeks. I think, I think they say 12 weeks, but the recovery took like a good six months, I would say. And same thing with having a baby. They say recovery time is six weeks. It's a lot longer. With the vestibulectomy, honestly, my overall rating is that hurt worse than having to recover from childbirth, which is crazy because hum a human coming out of you is like insane. And I did tear, I don't know what degree it was, but it was pretty large. Her, her shoulder got caught on something in there and it just like tore the whole cervix down. So I had stitches, but I feel like the vestibulectomy stitches were worse because it is purely on the outside. So when you sit up or like if anything touches it, like your clothes, your underwear, it hurts a lot. Whereas with the tear I had from childbirth, it was inside. And so I honestly couldn't really, I wouldn't say I couldn't feel it because the pain did get so bad that we went to the ER because I was like, maybe I have a cyst or something, but I didn't. But honestly, it didn't like throb all day or anything. And and that, and that it did feel like that when I had the vestibulectomy. It throbbed all day. It was hot. I had to like always have an ice pack there. And it didn't feel like that after giving birth. And I really think that is because I had an inside tear versus outside. After I gave birth, so this is, this is an interesting point that hopefully this can help someone else. Um, after the vestibulectomy, you have your six week, week recovery time and then you can start physical therapy. And it's actually good to massage down there because you develop a lot of scar tissue and you end up going to physical therapy and they pretty much like do the same thing like massage the area and whatnot. Don't do that after giving birth. Um, it was weird because I had like a similar lump, it felt like, in the same spot after the vestibulectomy and after I had my baby. And so after the vestibulectomy, you were supposed to massage it and that made it feel better. It was scar tissue that was breaking down. That is not what it was after having a baby. It was just how they like stitched it back up. I think it just kind of got like scrunched or something. So I thought, oh, maybe this is similar to that I should not have touched. Touching it, no, just leave everything alone for a good six to 12 weeks because that just made it worse. And I, yeah, then we ended up going to the ER because I was like, I don't know what is going on. And we had already met our deductible because the baby was in the NICU, so it cost us nothing. We don't just like willy nilly go to the ER. Yeah, anyway. I know this is kind of a short video and I didn't really write out like my thoughts, I'm just kind of rambling, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it really wasn't that bad. They did yank the epidural out very quickly after and I was like, well that's not very nice. But the recovery, you still take baths, you use the peri bottle when you go to the bathroom, it hurts when you sneeze, you know, it's pretty similar to the recovery of the vestibulectomy, but I felt like it was better. 
So all of you people, if you are scared of having a baby after dealing with all of this, it wasn't that bad. I don't even remember it. I feel like that's a great thing about our brains is that we forget what the pain was like and you just, I just love my daughter so much. I will do it again for her to have siblings. Hopefully that helped someone. Bye.